You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed happiness over the victory of the horse line of departure that won the race at the Ascot Racing Track and affirmed that his victory comes as a result of the keen support of His Majesty the King for the sport. His Highness added that the horse possesses great capabilities following its victory in Yarmouth race recently and affirmed that the latest achievement represents yet another episode in a series of victories. He said that the horse performed well despite the high level of competition, which allowed it to finish before the horse that finished second by a long distance. His Highness affirmed that he had full confidence in the horse's ability to achieve high honors and praised the efforts of the horse trainer Roger Ferrian and the horseman David Egan for their excellent work. Private training institutions are set to reopen on September the 3rd after several months of suspension as part of the Kingdom's measures to combat the novel coronavirus COVID-19. The move is based on the decision of the government's executive committee chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa and the report of the National Medical Task Force to combat the coronavirus COVID-19 headed by the President of the Supreme Council of Health, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. In this regard, the Minister of Labor and Social Development, Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Maidan issued an administrative circular to private training institutions on the resumption of their training activities starting from September the 3rd until further notice. The Kingdom of Bahrain, represented by the Bahrain Defence Force yesterday, received the El Zubara patrol warship from the British company BAE Systems at Portsmouth Naval Base in the United Kingdom. The handover ceremony took place in the presence of Bahrain's ambassador to the UK, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the military attaché at the embassy, Brigadier General Ahmed Hamad Al Rawai, the crew of the warship, and officials from the Royal Bahraini Navy and a representative from the BAE Systems. The Royal Bahraini Navy has become today one of the pillars of the basic strengths of Bahrain due to the progress and integration of all its formations and systems at various levels, embodying the wise visions of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the supreme leader that comprises modern combat warships, advanced support ships, advanced transport and training ships, as well as the Sabha frigate. The induction of the modern naval ship as Zubara to the Royal Bahraini Navy is a source of pride and honor as the warship is named after Al Zubara city, founded by the Al Khalifa during the rule of the Qatar Peninsula. Al Zubara was a political and a thriving commercial and economic center and it forms an integral part of the Kingdom of Bahrain since Al Zubara was the capital of the Al Khalifa state in both the Qatari Peninsula and the Bahraini Islands. His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued directives to aid the people of Lebanon following the devastating explosion that occurred recently. As a result, the Bahraini delegation to Lebanon met with the Minister of Health of Lebanon, Hamad Hassan. The move comes as part of the humanitarian efforts of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to support all friendly countries and people and to aid the victims of various tragedies such as wars, natural disasters and various crimes. Crises. The first shipment of aid to Lebanon has departed from Bahrain yesterday and is now Beirut bound. The Lebanese Minister of Health expressed the gratitude and appreciation of his government for Bahrain's support and praised the efforts of His Majesty the King to aid the people of Lebanon. The minister further praised the depth of the bilateral relations and said that Bahrain has always been at the forefront of such acts of solidarity which are remembered fondly by the people of Lebanon. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 2,872 with 331 recoveries and 418 registered new cases. The Ministry urges everyone to adhere to the rules and affirm the importance of following instructions such as washing one's hands with soap and water on a regular basis along with avoiding shaking hands and close contact. This while covering the nose and mouth when sneezing or coughing and avoiding public spaces when possible.